Hey everybody, Florida Stacker back with you and I'm happy to be back with you today because this is week 20 of our Saving in Silver series. And as usual, I've got more 90% silver to show you, so stay tuned everybody. We're gonna update our savings calculator, show you exactly how much we've saved in silver over the last 20 weeks. All that plus more when we return. All right, welcome back everyone. Welcome back to week 20 of Saving in Silver with the Florida Stacker. I'm happy that you're here. So let's go ahead and bring up our savings calculator. This is just a simple Excel file I created and I'm ha actually uh, happy to share it with you. I've shared it with probably uh, 50 to 75, somewhere in that range. Uh, subscribers, viewers of this channel. So if you're interested in this calculator, which I'm going to bring up here, then please send an email to thefloridastacker at gmail.com and I'll happily share this file with you. All right, so here is the calculator, and as you can see, uh, spot price is up pretty nice today, up to $25.42, that's over a dollar increase from our last video, week 19. So with that increase in spot price, uh, face value is unchanged, of course, still at 163.85, that's the total in face value of these quarters, dimes, and half dollars, and a couple nickels that we've got here in our silver stack. So that does generate a melt value. If you take the total weight in troy ounces, multiply that by the uh, new spot price, we get uh, $3,002.71. So a little over $3,000 saved in 20 weeks. And we did so in silver. So not too shabby, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and bring out this week's $5 in face value. I'm going to clear a little spot here. Let's get to it. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and dump out. This is $5 in face value from Aiden Coins in Ramsey, New Jersey. That's where I've been buying. Uh, most of this 90% silver did also purchase some locally and uh, maybe like 10 or $15 in total of the face value of silver from Hero Bullion uh, online. So they're out of Texas. They have pretty good prices, but you're going to get more standard Quarters dimes uh, from Hero Bullion, whereas Aiden Coin sends uh, the variety, including you know barbers and uh, uh, walking liberties and uh, standing liberty quarters. I've I've gotten all kinds of stuff. Uh, barber dimes here. Let's go ahead and bring into focus. So you're going to get a you know a different variety, a better variety from uh, places like Aiden than you will from some of the bigger online dealers. But let's take a look at what we got this week. So we do have uh, Washington quarter and a Mercury dime. Let's go ahead and bring those into focus. Looks like a 1945 Mercury Dime, 1960 quarter, pretty standard for a quarter. And uh, let's just take a look at the mint mark here on the Mercury Dime. All right, no mint mark coming out of Philadelphia. So we got a Walking Liberty half dollar, 1941. Pretty standard circulated Walking Liberty half dollar. And we've, we've got about two rolls of these now. Looks like from the San Francisco Mint there. All right, we've also got a uh, John F. Kennedy, half dollar, 1964. And if this is your first time here, 1964, well, minted coins, minted 1964, half dollars, John F. Kennedy, half dollars, uh, contain 90% silver. It's the only year after that, uh, 65. Uh, I believe it was on to 1970. Those are the 40% silver composition, half dollars. So still some silver in the older ones, but, uh, you know, not quite as much. Not quite half. So we get another Walking Liberty half dollar, pretty well circulated. Looks like another Washington quarter here. Let's go ahead and get the camera. 1957s. Ah, we got a pair and two 1957s. Anyone here watching born in 1957? Well, we got a pair for you right here. Let's get a focus and look, both from Denver too. Anyone here born in Denver in <laughs> 1957? Ah, there you go. Quarter and a dime from that era. Let's go ahead and bring up the Ben Franklin. Anyone remember these half dollars as a child growing up? I don't. I was born in the 70s, but uh, 1956 Franklin half dollar. Let's go ahead and show you the reverse here, the famous Liberty Bell. You can still see some of the inscription there on the bell. Not too bad. Okay. And we got another actually really nice looking Franklin here. Let's get a better focus on this one. 1954, a little tarnish there in the quarter, in the corner. Now, right above the T, the last T in the word trust. 
Uh, but really nice condition for a 1954 Franklin half dollar. And I told you, Aiden coins, they send a good variety. They send some nice stuff. Gotten some commemorative coins from them. Plenty of proof quarters, state quarters. Uh, proof uh, 64, I think maybe even 62 quarters. That's a really nice half dollar. Thank you, guys. Uh, lots of good stuff. So let's grab some of these Mercury Dimes. I myself am a big fan of the Mercury Dimes. Let me know if you are or not. Here we go. Speaking of Mercs, I'll show you those BU Mercury Dimes here in just a minute. So, it, uh, the nice guys that Aiden sent to me. So 1942. All right, Philadelphia. We got here. Pretty good condition. Not bad, right, for a 1945 Mercury Dime. Or is that a three? Hold on. Let me see here. Okay. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little better. I'm sorry for the focus there. Uh, 1943. 1943 Mercury Dime. Not bad. Okay, I'm going to zoom out some. I'm going to perform some magic with the camera here. The camera phone. I'm using a Samsung phone to record this video. And uh, it's their low-end model. It's the cheapest one. It's, barely, uh, it's a year old. Not too bad. I do kind of miss my Apple. Uh, camera. I just like the functionality of the Samsung better. So it's 1945. There you go. Looks like uh, I do see a Denver mint mark there, but it's uh, the focus here. Let's see if we can get that better. Nope, that's San Francisco. Yeah, no, that's Denver. That's Denver. There we go. Mercury dime. Zoom back out. Matter of fact, I'm going to shift the camera over, see if we can get some better, better lighting. Lighting is not... Uh, it's kind of dark and dreary outside today here in Central Florida, so yeah. Anyways, I don't have as much natural light. All right, we do have two more Mercury dimes. So, yeah, real good amount of Mercs in this week's order. 1945 again. Let's see what we got. Another Philadelphia. And uh, pretty good condition here, 1945. A lot of 45s. Denver. There we go. All right, on to a John F. Kennedy half dollar, 1964. Not too bad, little tarnish. Who cares? It is circulated. 1964 silver. Good half dollar there. We're well past two tubes now, working on our third tube of the John F. Kennedy half dollars over the last 20 weeks. 1957 again. Uh, Denver, another Denver quarter. Uh, 1964, that is the last year once more. Look at that toning. Pretty good toning there on this Washington quarter. I like it. Denver as well. Rocky Mountain Silver. Okay, so we do have three more dimes, and that's it for this week. And then we'll get to a channel announcement and talk about some upcoming videos. So 1953 Roosevelt Dime, Denver. We are coming up on 15,000 subscribers, guys. Can you believe it? Uh, we have been on YouTube now for just over two years. Oh, let's go ahead. 1964. 1964, 1964. And our final Mercury Dime in 1938. 1938, and uh, yeah, looks like a Philadelphia Mercury Dime. Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom out and show you what we've done over 20 weeks. So this is 20 weeks of saving here, guys. This is steady purchases, minimum $5 in face value, which typically ran me about uh, anywhere from $100 to up to about $120, depending on spot price. Never mind that silver bar back there. We're just focusing on the 90% right now. So yeah, in, the, in this hole, all these tubes here. Oh, also got a couple tubes over here. We now have, and let's go ahead and get the phone placed back down. Get it refocused here on this beautiful pile of wealth that we have saved over 20 weeks. Now let's get back to the calculator and updating for all the stuff that we got today. That does bring us to a face value of 168.85. So for 20 weeks, we stacked $168.85 in face value. That total melt value today was spot price once more. $25.42 does come to $3,094.64. So the reason I go with melt value, guys, is because premiums vary, right? You know, premiums vary from dealer to dealer. Premiums vary from region to region. And we do have some foreign viewers here as well, right? We've got folks viewing from Great Britain, Europe, uh, some Australian viewers. I imagine some South African Belgium, German, uh, based on uh, the, the analytics that I can see on these videos. Uh, we do have viewers from overseas, and so it's easier just to kind of, you know, tally it up at melt value and not try to assume what type of premium you're going to get back if you were to uh, convert 
these silver coins back over to, you know, fiat currency. But why would you want to do that unless you had to? But it is a saving stack, right? So if you fall on hard times, if you're, you know, low on dry powder, you don't have much cash saved up, you know, then you, you might have to liquidate your silver. Uh, but I do recommend you build that moat. If you remember my uh, three-tier analogy, gold is your castle keep, silver is your castle walls, and cash is your moat. And that will protect you, right? Because once you have a strong foundation in gold, silver, and some cash to protect it, right, as a savings, then you feel a lot more comfortable taking on more risk investing where you can earn more capital, which you can then, you know, further invest to grow your wealth and also convert some of that back over into physical metals, you know, hold some cash, uh, build your, your fort, your base, your castle, as I like to say. So uh, that's just how I kind of approach it, right? You know, I'm old military dude, old, old retired army officer, not old, I'm in my 40s, but uh, you catch my drift, okay? That's just kind of how I come at it, right? So the more gold and silver and some cash to protect it that I have, the more comfortable I feel investing in, uh, you know, other asset classes, uh, real estate, land, property, even firearms, uh, whatever. I've got this stuff to fall back on, right? If, uh, you know, crazy times fall upon me, my family, whatever the case might be. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in. We are going to go ahead now and bring you to a channel announcement. So hopefully you uh, continue to watch. So we're going to stop with the 90% uh, temporarily. We're going to pick the 90% up back again around uh, the middle of January. Okay, we're going to take a pause. And for the next 10 weeks, we're going to focus on stacking some silver rounds, like these rounds here. And I'll have a video on these silver rounds coming up this week. All right, so stay tuned for that. Uh, definitely consider subscribing if you like unboxings, reviews of gold and silver coins uh, like this one today. We'll go ahead and have uh, more silver, more gold coming your way. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make a switch and go to silver rounds for a while. And that is because I did make a video recently and I mentioned the importance of diversification in your assets as well as within your gold and silver saving stack. And I've, I've built up uh, three grand now and 90%. We're going to hold there for a little bit. We're going to add some coins and rounds and try to rebalance my silver stack back out. And uh, we'll talk about how I kind of do that um, in a future video as well, because I mentioned how much gold and silver as a percentage I hold uh, more silver than gold right now because of my age and also the price of silver. That's why I'm more heavy silver than I am gold is when it comes to, you know, value to value. However, I want to break down exactly how I kind of, you know, build my silver stack as well. And we'll do a video on that coming up. Uh, but for now, didn't want to make that channel announcement. We will go to the silver rounds here for a while uh, and recontinue with our 90% come January. Okay, so thank you guys for watching today. Thank you for making it all the way to the end, especially for those core subscribers and members who've been with me for a long time. Now, very much appreciation to you all. Wishing you all a great day. Happy November. And we'll see you soon on another stacking video.